Hey, Mastodon fans, John Nolan here, and joined by Mastodon right-handed pitcher Mike Madura, who's joining us from just outside of Chicago, across the state in Munster, Indiana. And Mike, great to talk with you right now. Thanks for your time, and all things considered, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me, John. Yeah, so I know things haven't really gone uh, as according to plan for you. You were actually slated to start the Summit League opener uh, against Western Illinois before the season uh, came to an end and life for just about everyone right now has changed. And by the way, congrats to you for getting off to a, a solid start to the season, initially working out of the bullpen. I know you had the one outing at Miami, Ohio, five uh, scoreless innings uh, in relief and a nice odd or a nice nod to get that uh, opening day of the league calendar uh, scheduled start. But, you know, th since things have changed now, what has life been like for you staying at home? You know what? Um, it's definitely an adjustment. I guess uh, it's just trying to get better each day and work on the schoolwork and just find a way to kind of get better and occupy your time, I guess. Yeah. By the way, you have a pretty uh, official looking background behind you, something like we see the, uh, the reporters on uh, Sports Center and ESPN have. Uh, where are you in your family's house right now? And what's on the wall behind you? Uh, yeah, I'm actually in my basement right now. So, um, so right here we have when Michael Jordan first retired in 1993, and then on this side we have in uh, '93 when the Sox clinched the division. So, so yep. Yeah. yeah, pretty cool pennants, and I see uh, Frank Thomas there uh, behind you as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know what's uh. Who else is at home with you um, right now? I, you know, I think your family's got a dog, right? Yeah, we have a dog named Rocky, actually. So there's a Maltese, but I'm with my um, with my two parents and then my little sister. Too, so. Well, I know you appreciate the time uh, around your loved ones, but I'm sure you miss being around uh, your teammates, too. What kind of communication have you had uh, with the rest of your crew? Yeah, I mean, we stay in touch all the time. I mean uh, – over Snapchat, text in. I mean, TikTok's a big thing now too. So we, we're sending TikToks back and forth and uh, just having a good time communicating with each other because we can't be with each other anymore. But uh, yep, yeah, I definitely miss them and looking forward to getting back with them soon. Uh, when it comes to TikTok, are you more of a, a dancer or the type that likes to uh, do voiceovers? Um, I actually have only made one TikTok. I'm not not a big like creator I, yeah I, i'm more just like kind of watch the videos and get a good laugh out of some of them so yeah well it's important to laugh right now i know though you're also focused on trying to stay in shape and keep your arms strong so uh, what have you been able to do uh, strength and baseball activity wise um kind of working out wise just kind of doing push-up sit-ups in the house and stuff like that but then arm strength wise i've been able to get out and play some long toss every once in a while with uh my high school catchers back in town too. So get to long toss with him. We actually made a TikTok about us trying to throw a ball into a trash can from uh, 300 feet away. So that's a pretty far throw and it, you gotta be pretty accurate to do that. So it was pretty challenging, but uh, we only did it one day. So hopefully we can get it the next day. Yeah, actually I a video of that and uh, it looked like you nearly got it in the can. You hit it from the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, any update on that? No, we've just done it one time. I mean, uh, the weather was real nice that day. It was like 75 and sunny. And then I actually got sunburned that day too. And then the next day it snowed. So we weren't able to go do it yet. So hopefully it's coming soon though. And for those who haven't been able to see it on an actual game mound, forget about throwing from 300 plus feet away. Uh, and people can't necessarily tell right now if uh, you're seated, but uh, you're six foot six. Um, beyond that, though, what's uh, your self-scouting report for you as a, as a righty? I guess uh, scouting report, I throw a fastball, change up in a slider. Um, I try and locate the fastball and kind of my out pitch to righties, my slider, and then my change up has really come along the past couple of years. And I really like throwing that to lefties. And I think Coach McNeil does a really good job of mixing up the different locations and speed and stuff like that. So I really trust him with whatever kind of development he thinks is good. And given uh, the fact that you're the, the tallest player the program's had in, in nearly a decade, some might stereotype you to be a guy who's trying to overpower people, but I've read that you feel like your changeup has uh, really become a, a key pitch for you that's developed over the last uh, couple of years. Um, how did that come to be for you? 
Well, I kind of went to college my first year, and I mean, in high school, you don't really need a change up if you're if you're good. So I mean, I kind of just used my fastball and my slider, and back then I had a curveball too, so I kind of mixed those three in. And then I went to college my first year and realized, hey, I need a need a pitch that looks like a changeup or a fastball out of the hand. And then and I kind of just started messing around with the changeup grip in the summer after that year and just kept working on it, trying to get it better and better. And I actually started like forcing myself to throw it in games so I would get comfortable with it, even if it was wasn't a favorable count, stuff like that. And then finally I got something that I liked and now it's I think it's pretty good. Prior to coming to Fort Wayne, I know you had success at the junior college level and you had interest from some Big Ten, even ACC schools. Uh, what ultimately attracted you uh, to sign with Purdue Fort Wayne? Well, I actually signed before um, before Coach Schreiber and Coach McNeil were named. So there was a little bit of a familiar, familiarity with um, Coach Pierce and Coach Byerly. So I really – like, they, they kind of um, communicated with me before I committed to Central Michigan my sophomore year of high school. So I kind of trusted them a little bit, and then I just thought that was a good fit for me when I was coming out of the Juco level. And ultimately, yeah, yeah. 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 but how was your, your rookie season uh, as a mascot? It was good. I mean, I really, um, really enjoyed it. I really loved the team, and I think the program is in good hands with Coach Schreiber and Coach McNeil. And I think everyone was really excited about what we – would have been able to do this year and real disappointed that the way that it ends. But I guess um, we're just going to have to focus on next year, joining the Horizon League, and it's getting better each day. Yeah, you know, uh, when you get to return to the Hill as a Mastodon, uh, the program will be going through the transition from the Summit League to the Horizon League. What excites you about that opportunity? Just the ability to compete against those teams. I mean, uh, the Horizon has definitely a big competition that we can face, and I think it – really puts a good place at us for uh, putting our name on the map, kind of competing with some teams like that. And um, I know UIC is close to, uh, close to where I live, so that'd be a great place to, for my parents to come out and watch the game, stuff like that. So, yep. Yeah, and uh, before we get there, and kind of who knows, as we do take a day-by-day day by day approach, but uh, looking towards the summer, if knock on wood, things can return to normal. Uh, what are your, uh, your summer ball plans? I'm playing for the same team that I played for last year, too, the Northwest Indiana Oilmen. I actually plan on interning with them, too. For, um, I'm doing like a front office type intern, which should be interesting, too. So I'm hoping that uh, everything goes as planned and we get to play some baseball this summer. Yeah, that's a pretty good plan. And uh, best of luck to you as you continue your studies towards your business uh, economics degree. Uh, at Purdue Fort Wayne. Uh, last thing, Mike, just uh, any message that you have out there to uh, the essential workers who are helping to keep uh, things for everyone else right now uh, as a float as can be? Yeah, I just wanted to th say thank you to all of them, especially my mom and dad who are working extremely hard. My mom's a nurse. My dad's a project manager at a lab that runs tests for the coronavirus. So I just wanted to say thank you for uh, keeping all of us safe and helping to uh, uh, limit this disease. Wow, that's uh, extraordinary. And uh, we thank them for what they're doing, as well as everyone else out there uh, who you referenced to as well. And Mike, thanks to you for your time and giving us some uh, laughs. And uh, looking forward to you seeing you and the rest of your teammates uh, back out on the field at Purdue Fort Wayne uh, as soon as possible. Yep, thanks for having me, John. Okay, thanks a lot, Mike. Best of luck to you and to everyone else out there. We hope that you can stay safe uh, and healthy. And in the meantime, go Dots.